Well, an extraordinary new scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery in genetic engineering, creating wolf pups that resemble the extinct dire wolf. This was made possible by a team of scientists at Colossal Biosciences in the U.S. that worked to bring back lost species. The dire wolf, an extinct species that roamed North America over 10,000 years ago, were much larger than gray wolves, their closest living relatives today. Now, using CRISPR technology, the scientists created genetically engineered pups, which are currently three to six months old. They weigh around 80 pounds and are expected to reach 140 pounds at maturity. The extinction to us is you know, recreating these phenotypes. So a gray wolf is the closest living relative of a dire wolf. They're genetically really similar, 99.5% similar. And phenotypically, their, their morphology is also similar, only dire wolves are larger, more muscular, and have these light colored coats and other, other things that we can see from the fossils. And so we targeted DNA sequence variants that we believe lead to those traits. And then we edited gray wolf cells to contain those dire wolf DNA variants. And then we cloned those cells and created our dire wolves. Scientists learn about specific traits that dire wolves possess by examining ancient DNA from fossils. These included a 13,000 year old dire wolf tooth unearthed in Ohio and a 72,000 year old skull fragment found in Idaho. Scientists then took blood cells from a living gray wolf and used the technology to genetically modify them. They transferred the modified cells to domestic dog eggshells. When the embryos were ready, they were transferred to surrogates, also domestic dogs. 62 days later, the engineered pups were born. And then the hand raising was really great. You know, we sort of looked at what we do with gray wolves. We beefed up the caloric values um, of the formula and we began putting them onto a, a puppy milk replacer or formula. And then quickly at by eight weeks, they were weaning and being fed um, uh, whole solid foods. So they're getting everything from ground meats like beef and deer and horse meats all the way to now they're actually experiencing a uh, whole prey. So they get to sort of chew on meat and bones and all of that. Now, Colossal Biosciences has previously announced similar projects to genetically alter cells from living species to create animals resembling extinct woolly mammoths, dodos, and others. They're cloned, they clone for red wolves using blood drawn from wild wolves. And experts say this technology may have broader application for conservation of other species. And according to reports, Colossal CEO Ben Lam met with officials from the U.S. Interior Department in late March about the project. Taking to social media platform X, Interior Secretary Doug Burgum praised the work as a thrilling new era of scientific wonder. This, as other scientists say, there are limitations to restoring the past.